Companions of the Front. This is the name given to these Soviet women who, as ambulance girls and other auxiliary services, take part in frontline action with the troops. Their training now completed, the women are leaving the Kirov district of Moscow by motor lorry for the front. Lads under military age in the town of Gorky have organized a voluntary rail repair detachment to help in the work of maintaining the permanent way in their district. Rail communication in the Soviet is of vital importance and these boys are doing valuable work helping to get the rolling stock up to the front line. Further evidence of the importance of Russia's railways is to be seen in this news flash of an armoured train going into action. The ironclad mobile fortress has picked out an enemy staff headquarters and completely destroyed it. For the first time in a newsreel we see some dead Germans killed by the withering gunfire from the armoured train. Here's an interesting story from the village of Budyanovsky, birthplace of Marshal Budyani. Kuban Cossack villagers parade before the aged mother of the marshal as they set off for cavalry exercises. Direct descendants of the men who put Napoleon to flight, the Cossacks are second to none as horsemen. Not long ago, a number of German infantry were cut to pieces in a cavalry charge. Russian soldiers bring in a German deserter. He is Fritz Reiss a Nazi soldier who has handed himself over as a result of having found one of the leaflet passes dropped by Soviet planes over the enemy lines. These leaflets invite Germans to give themselves up to the Red Army. So on the assurance of life and good treatment, Fritz Reiss, a former farmhand, with his pass carefully hidden away, slips over to the Soviet lines. Nazi pilot Emil Lockman fell into Soviet hands in a different way. He was shot down after machine gunning women and children in a village. His first action after crashing was to try and rid himself of his Iron Cross and badges. Cross-questioning revealed the fact that his distinctions had been won for similar outrages in Norway and Greece. How typically German! <laughs> <laughs> 